Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode one of what's going to be a new Let's Try. Guys, uh, hope you're doing well. And I am super excited by this game, so much so that when I learned about it and bought it and played it for 47 minutes, just tinkering around. Um, one second. Got a hair in my tongue. I, um, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to do this. Uh, I have to cover this game, basically. And that's what we're doing. This is a game that sort of like has a Neverwinter Night skill system going on and very old school CRPG type rule set with a lot of cool features to the rule set. Sort of like a Morrowind type thing. Um, it's an open world action RPG, but it's super deep and I usually don't cover games that are in early access too much, but like I said, this, I was like, yes, we have to play this. I'm so interested in this. This is Let's Try Karth, episode one. And without further ado, let's get right into it and see what this has to offer. Um, and what do you guys see? We're going to create a character. We're going to get into the world a little bit. It is going to be interesting. So it says here, we want to thank you for the support of Karth. Karth is still in its early stages of development and many things are subject to change. There are many features we will be adding throughout Early Access, as well as small tweaks and updates. We have an amazing community, and without them, none of this would be possible. Come join, you know, the Discord. Okay, so basically, a lot of stuff is subject to change. This is a very early build, which is why I don't tend to cover Early Access games. I like to wait until at least a 1.0 official release. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this and really play it a bit with you. So, uh, you know, you can pause this and read the known bugs. Tips and hints, adjust your graphic options. Um, I've already done that. Super sampling. All game inputs can be changed. Make sure to tweak your audio the way you want. Your options should be saved for each new start. Just make sure to press apply. So let's check the options. So under graphics, we've got everything on ultra. Um... Brightness should be good. I don't know. Maybe I have it too high. Um, DLSS, Ultra Everything. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go ahead and apply that. Um, can look through the options here. We've got some nice settings for audio. Various input. Which we'll get in when we actually play. Not sure if in this first episode we're going to get to play the game but we will make a character we'll see how it goes so let's hit there's host game join game let's hit solo game new game so far the only game type is survive it's a survival rpg um but more an rpg than anything really and we'll call this um save game name youtube lt try that Hit start, and the create a character options are a bit limited right now. Well, you guys know the disclaimer that I read at the beginning that, you know, a lot is subject to change and a lot of features are not implemented yet, so keep that in mind. So here we have choose your race. We have human, elf, half elf, and rifter. Um, if we pick rifter, say a male rifter, you see they have horns, you can change the horns. Um, stuff like that, very cool, look at those bad boys um let's hit restart half elf um if you go to if you click this and go to like ears you'll have an option for ears elf long you know you can do your elf ear thing with the half elf they haven't really said at least that i can tell what each of these races gets inherently compared to the other ones like their advantages and disadvantages so I'm just going to be an elf, as usual. We'll pick a male. And uh, we'll go through this. So 
Right now there's four skin options. We'll go with this one here. Um, hair options. I don't get my top knot or man bun, but unless that is one and I can't tell, but let's actually go <clears throat> something like that, I guess. So I'm sure there's going to be many more options in the base game. Uh, let's go to body. Bodybuilder, you can be bigger. There's thin. All right, good enough body. Um, and trust me, this is not. This is just the beginning of character creation. It gets much deeper and more interesting as we go. Um, you know, you can really, as you can see, uh, tweak things and you know, play with things. Um, Lower face widen a bit. Very cool. And you can really get some interesting faces if you were to spend some time with this. I did mess around with it a bit. Um, jaw width, stuff like that. Chin cleft, chin define. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. Mouth. Um, you can really tweak the mount. There's a lot of lip options. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as is, really, since this is going to be mostly a test play. I was even told by the developers when I told them on the Discord that I wanted to do an LP or an LT that, um, you know, saves will probably break. You have eyes arched and droop and all sorts of stuff. Very cool. Um... <clears throat> Eyebrows, brows distance, brows depth, brows arch, nose, we'll go through the options right now. There's a whole lot of nose ones, Greek, Indian, Germanic, Asian, all sorts of stuff. Bulbous, broken. So you can really get in there and tweak your character how you like. I think for right now we'll just do the ears. Um, Elf long, we'll get like like that right there. Here's width, you know, you can really widen them up. Here's shape five. You know, subtle changes. Uh, here's scale, I'll wow, get them big. Here's shape, okay. Rotate them, all sorts of stuff. That's ears. Finally, cheeks. Chubby. I have a little chubby cheeks. Um, cool. So that's everything for the face and stuff right now. <clears throat> Let's enter our name. We're going to make him Alzarian. You can do skin color down here if you want. That's what shows skin color. Does. And let's hit continue. And this is where it gets really interesting. This is your class tab. Here you can choose your adventure, your character's class, alignment, and advancements. Each class offers different strengths, abilities, choices, and options. Multiclassing is supported in Karth, so as you level up in game, you can choose multiple classes if you prefer. On the left of the screen, you will see what you can you automatically receive from a class. While on the right side of the screen, you'll be able to choose a perk. So, very cool. We start here, class, this is altered. The schism of the gods bestowed onto some inherent abilities to wield the powers of the rift. Those that gain such gifts are known as altered. So you can see they have health, mana, and stamina increased by four. So sort of a kind of do-it-all type character. They start with magic ray. Magical ray shoots forth from your hand for five magic damage. An electric shield. A shield of lightning surrounds the caster for five seconds five damage and if we just switch through here and of course you know you can be neutral follows a path of balance evil follows a darker path you can pick your alignment then we've got bard bards travel the lands of karth and gain many skills and abilities many are a jack of all trades while others still are masters of certain crafts or arts four health four mana two skill points and four stamina so not as magical, but they still get four mana, so I guess you could. And if you come over here, if you noticed, 
these are the perks we could take with them like a lesser healing spell heals the caster for five or a psionic arrow that does five psychic damage yes there's all sorts of different damage types very cool divine the devout of the gods are bestowed to them powers to heal strengthen and destroy good health increase mana increase less stamina at two lesser healing spell heals the caster for five um and they can get Holy Bolt right away. Bolt of Radiant shoots forth from the caster. Radiant damage. Lesser Shadow Soul. An aura of shadow surrounds the caster. Shadow resists for duration 20 seconds. We get to pick one. Or you can get more basic stuff like two bonus damage, bonus armor, health increase. And these are slightly different with each class or majorly different. Druid is the next class. One with nature and Valeda herself. Druids can gain many skills, abilities, and powers to protect and strike down those that oppose the natural order. Six health, four mana, two stamina. Acid bolt, a bolt of, bolt of acid shoots forth from the caster. Poison damage, five. Not as many perk options right now. And we've got fighter. Training and skill empower the fighters of the lands. Focusing in many aspects of combat, none other truly know the horror of battle like a fighter. As you can see, major health, major stamina, two bonus damage, 10 and 10 for those. You can even get more health, more stamina, or more damage as you like, and stuff like that. So then we go to the next class, which is Oathkeeper. Bound by their oath and empowered from it, Oathkeepers swear to a cause and will do anything to keep that oath. So you can get all sorts of different stuff over here, but we've got eight health, eight stamina, two mana, one bonus damage, four skill points. That is very very powerful rift of constitution constitution plus one for a minute so there's a lot of stuff going on in this game otherworldly pact that's a class as the hex feel as the hex fell upon the world some thought it a good idea to make a deal with something not from these lands so you would get four health four mana four stamina very balanced and shadow arrow which does five shadow damage um and we've got a schism scholar prior prior to the schism of the gods the scholars seek to understand the rift and its secrets since the schism they know truly they can learn and wield those secrets eight mana two stamina four health so more of a magic class with magic ray magic damage five and electric shield and can get ice shield and energy blast and of course there's many more spells later in the game these are just starting stuff and then we have warden survivalists of the wild and ready for whatever may come a warden has many skills abilities and talents at their disposal six health six stamina two mana one bonus so a jack of all trades but less leaning towards magic and leaning more towards you know melee or whatnot and that's the last class right now so i think i want to be i mean just for this character we'll go ahead Maybe be a bard. And four abilities. Or a perk, really. Um, maybe take psionic arrow. Psionic damage five. And we'll be good, of course. Then we would hit the next button, which is traits. Come to traits. Okay, this is your traits tab. Karth offers good and bad traits. Good traits will cost you the indicated amount of trait points. Bad traits will give you the indicated amount of trait points back. On the left side of the screen is all available traits you can choose. To choose a trait, press acquire on the trait. After a trait is chosen, it will be shown on the right side of the screen. If you change your mind, just press the remove button from a chosen trait. So as you can see, they have different costs here. You can be the, the child of an alchemist, an armor smith's child, blacksmith's child. And this is, this is what, in the description of what you all get with it. Say if we picked brave, you are brave beyond normal comparison. We get strength plus one, con plus one, leadership plus two. And it will cost four trait points. So we can go through this. Cat's eyes. You are born with a deformity which allows you keen vision and low light to that of a cat. Dexterity and perception plus two. Dexterous cost of six. We would have to take some negative traits to pay for that. Dragon scales. Your skin is covered in small protective dragon scales. Gain plus two natural armor. 
change his armor by four. One second, guys. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So here we are, traits, uh, fast healer, fast learner, wisdom intelligence plus one. So you can really, you know, start off with some different, different traits. Uh, let's see, what do we want to be for this little, let's try. Um, and here's the negative traits that are negative costs. All thumbs, your darn fingers just do not work the way they should. Dex, dex minus one, lock picking minus four. You know, you can go all the way down, disorganized, clumsy, conspicuous, drinker, dry mouth, feeble, and so on. Um, so let's see. Well, actually, before picking this, we might want to know what, like, dexterity and stuff does. So let's go to stats and skills first. This is the stats and skills tab. You can change only available stat or skill by using the plus or minus signs next to them. Stats have many uses in the game, from increasing your health, damage, schism, which is mana, or armor to different checks and roles in game dialogue and situations. So lots of skill checks in the game and skill rolls with dice. Skills have a multitude of practical abilities. Throughout early access, everything will be tweaked and balanced as we move forward, including a Carthopedia, with full details on every aspect of the game. So we only get this information once, so let's try to commit it to memory, at least until they put tooltips in. Strength uh, increases damage. Dexterity increases stamina and armor. Constitution increases health and armor. Wisdom increases spell scale and mana, basically, schism. Intelligence increases spell scale and schism. And charisma increases spell scale and charm. So, yeah, now we can look at our stats. We know what the stats do. We have 10 stat points to spend. We'll go over the skills in a bit. Let's head back to traits. So, if we were to be dexterous, for example, you were always fairly dexterous as a child, we'd get dex plus one, which is um, armor and health, right? No, armor and... Oh my gosh, I've forgotten already. Armor and damage. And this is armor and hell, right? So armor and damage would be uh, dexterity. So we'd get dex plus one, armor by two, survival, block picking, and stealth, all plus two, which of course are skills in the game. Let's maybe acquire dexterous. Oh, we can't, we have to get a negative first. So let's look for a negative one here, cost. So this is gonna be a weird way to balance, balance it out. If we had, we'd have to get maybe a negative three. Um, drinker, you lean into the alcoholic beverages a bit too much, disorganized, cowardly, uh, let's see, thin skin, uh, prone to illness, out of shape. So if we were to take out of shape, you're out of shape, it would change our con, dex, and strength by minus one. But that would give us eight trait points. So now we can come up here and even get an eight if we wanted, which would be like soldier. We'd get that strength, dex, and con back one and get a halberd. <laughs> so a little bit of a kind of an exploit there, if you want to say. I don't know if it'd be an exploit, but but I want to actually just get dexterous, like so. The dexterity cancels it out. And then we have two trait points left. We can take like, Alchemist Child maybe. Which is two. I mean, you could, you could get more and really go down the line with them, but I'm just going to get, like... Um, yeah, we'll get Alchemist Child. You were raised by an alchemist and picked up on several aspects of alchemy. You also start with some gear that can aid you with alchemy. Gives an alchemist workbench item, a bottle item, a bottle item, and changes intelligence by once. We'll acquire that. Very nice. So let's go to stats and skills. 
as you can see everything is altered and we have 20 skill points so um, I want to go into let's see spells we're gonna be doing some spells so let's take that to 10 charisma I'm into charm so let's take that to 8 uh, dexterity let's take that to 8 con and strength we might want to get up to at least 6 and 1 point we will put into strength maybe something like that kind of a balanced build um, even instead of strength uh, yeah strength all right, so let's check out the skills. Again, there's no tool tips right now to see what these actually do, but we saw from the major tool tip that they help out in skills, skill checks and stuff like that and have practical uses in the game. So the skills are, which we have 20 skill points, but the skills are Arcana, Deception, Foraging, Grit, Heal, History, Honor, Insight, Intimidation, Investigation, Leadership, Lock picking, luck, medicine, mining, nature, perception, persuasion, stealth, survival, and wood cutting. And as you see, we have a two in stealth, two in survival, two in lock picking. I thought as a bard we get two skill points. It is not actually calculating. Yeah, we were supposed to get two skill points because 20 is base. I think we should get 22 for being a bard, so that's a bit strange, but. You can take any of these skills up. There's no limit uh, to what you can do at the start. So if we wanted to get like two arcana, um, two insight, two investigation, leadership, maybe bringing on more companions or something. Uh, let's keep going. Medicine, mining, nature. I like perception. Put a two in that. Persuasion for sure. Let's put a four in that. Survival, woodcutting, stealth, uh, put a four in perception, lock picking, uh, make that a three, investigation a three, insight a three, we have three skill points left, arcana a three, and two maybe in foraging. Try something like that, and there's our skill points, and that's not all, guys. There's talents in the game. This is the Talents tab. You have two talents to choose during character creation. Depending on the class and level, you may receive free talents or a chance to choose more as a perk. In this screen on the left, you have the talent categories. With a talent selected, you will see that categories available. Categories that are available have talents on the left. Most categories have a progression you would need to follow to reach higher tiers. You can see the descriptions of each talent as you hover over them. To select a talent, simply click on it and agree to the UI pop-up. There are many different types of talents, ranging from artisan, practical, and combat to gifts of the gods. Very cool. So we have two talent points. These are really small. Um, all Alia's essence, pieces of the actual essence of Alia, have imbued you with magical gifts. And that is, oh, Aelia, Regeneration, you're imbued with a magical boon of mana regen, 0.1 per second by the goddess Aelia. So if I wanted to, I could get, boom, boom, two points right in this and get Aelia Regeneration 2, since we have two skill points, and then eventually three. But let's look, Alchemy, Armor, we are the Alchemist Child. So there's Alias Essence, Alchemy, Armorer, Blacksmithing, carpentry, cooking, jeweler, leatherworking, masonry, Terraneaths, Terranath's hatred, blessings of hatred from the god Terranath. You're imbued with a boon of deception plus four. So stuff like that. Then there's tailoring. Uh, Thomas's. Thomas's strength. Or Thome's strength, you're imbued with the blood of the god Thome, plus eight, eight health. Blessings of strength from the god Thome. Uh, Valeda's love, which is. They offer you eight plus eight resistance to poison. Valeda's tear. Oh! There's three, like, 
in Tomei's, there's two, so there's plus eight health, and there's also Boon of Armor plus four armor of Tomei. And in Belated's Love, there's actually three Enduring Grace, Beauty, or Tear. And then finally, Weaponsmith. So let's see what we want here. Um, I kind of like Life Regen. We can get Belated's Enduring Grace. You're imbued with the Enduring Grace of the Goddess Belated, Life Regen plus one. Beauty is Charisma plus two. Resist to Poison, Belated's Tear. Let's get Life Regen plus one, I think. Um, there's no way to cancel these once you pick them. So just be careful in this if you play the early access. Uh, then there's Alchemy, though. The very basics of Alchemy unlocks a small set of recipes and skills. You are becoming familiar around Alchemy. Learning new traits and skills to aid in your work unlocks a small set of recipes and skills. So since we are son of an alchemist or whatnot... We could take a point of alchemy. But I want to actually do something different. Let's take... Um... What about weaponsmithing? The very basics of becoming a weaponsmith unlocks a small set of recipes and skills for weaponsmithing. Uh, that sounds pretty cool. So we'll become a novice weaponsmith. We could even become an apprentice. But I'm going to come up here and get something like... Mana regen. Well, without mana regen, it'd be hard to regen mana. I would take it. So let's... Yeah, let's get mana regen one. Boom. There's our two talent points spent. We hit save here. And soul game, we go to start. And here we go, guys. It is loading. Um, I thought we had to pick our character first, but I guess since we just made them, it automatically starts. Make sure to use your combat stance tab. E is your action key and will be the main interaction in the world. Okay. One second, guys. Oh. Darn, I tabbed through. Would you like to go through the tutorial? Okay, let me do something, guys. I want to actually exit out. I messed this up. I apologize. We're not actually going to play today because I have some real-life stuff I have to do. This is going to be a shorter episode, just character creation and the intro of text to the game. And then I will save, and next time we'll pick up and... uh roll with it. So hopefully my character is still saved. If not, well, I can always remake them again, but it should be saved and it should be fine. Um, let's go to solo game. If I hit load game, YouTube LT has character. Let's see what happens if we load it. I don't even know, actually. If I hit start, is it going to give me that screen again? Or is it going to consider me past that? Let's find out. Okay, change all of your inputs. Okay. Cool. Alright, so don't press any button if you want to read this. In the 75 years since the schism of the gods, must, much has changed around Karth. Thousands have fled their homes on the mainland for safer lands. The island of Viernes, laying, laying to the southeast of Karth, has become a haven for many in these dark times. Your story brings forward a new start from whatever past you carry with you. Arriving in Viernes, you find yourself a new beginning. With only what you could carry, you stride forward to forge a new path. These lands of Viernes, albeit safer than the mainland of Karth, are not without their own dangers. Be careful as you stake your place in these lands and be ever vigilant of what lies ahead. The ability to start a new life is what brought you to these lands, to build a home, rebuild what was lost, and take the fight back to the evils the rifts have unleashed. Shall you take the fight to the enemy? Will you rebuild in a ravaged world? Can you take back what was lost? The decision is now yours on how you will survive in Karth. So very cool, and we are going to play through the tutorial next time, guys, but that'll be next time. So basically, you know, not only is it a, an RPG 
Um, like uh, your typical Dungeons and Dragons type thing or an open world Dungeons and Dragons type thing. You can also build stuff. You know, I didn't even mention that. It is a full survival RPG as well. You can build homes and settlements and stuff like that. Anything you want to build in the world. So, super ambitious and super cool. It's called Karth. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Sorry I didn't get to the actual gameplay in this episode, but like I said, I have some stuff to do. So, that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all very much. You make this very fun to cover stuff like this. So, I like to do it once in a, a blue moon. But, um... I hope you enjoyed as well, even without the gameplay. If you did enjoy, guys, please consider hitting the like button and giving a thumbs up. Not only does it let me know that you care, it also helps this video, this series, and my entire channel. It's a great boon, so please consider doing that. You can also drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I read them all and respond in time. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell. But only do any of those things if you want to. No pressure or anything for me. It's all good, whatever you click or not. Uh, that said, guys, we're going to have some fun with Karth. So I want to see you guys next time. Hopefully you come back. Until then, guys, be well, live well, stay well. And next time we will go through the tutorial and start playing the game. So I hope to see you guys then. Much love, peace, and joy. Fluent out.